I guess my proudest moment could be just being able to get to where I am this fast because I just started filming, what, like eight months ago and I've been able to build a huge network of connections because I remember I started at like zero followers and that same year I was able to film at festivals, venues, recaps for artists that are like signed to labels. So that, I mean, I'm proud of that. <laughs> Jessica, I am a video creator and I make music videos. I make content for artists, mainly in the hip hop industry. So I grew up in El Salvador and when I was six years old, I came to Chicago and I don't know, one of my hobbies became taking pictures. So my mom would buy me the disposable cameras that you have to like, you know, wait at Walmart for an hour to like print. I don't know, I always like the idea of like capturing memories, you know, capturing time in an image. So that's where it all began, just me taking pictures and directing people. I began this career path actually less than a year ago in April. I'm older, I'm 27, and I've been on this long search of like searching for my passion. And, you know, I graduated college, I worked all these jobs, I you know, I was unhappy with a lot of the things that I was doing. Um, I knew I wasn't a quitter. I knew I wasn't lazy. I just hadn't found, you know, what was, I don't know, I guess you would call it my purpose. I just recently picked up my camera again. I thought of this idea of just creating like family videos for me and my, you know, my two kids. That's where it began. I, you know, I was like the music industry and I wanted to be part of it. I didn't know how. I couldn't sing. I couldn't like, you know, do much in it. But I mean, I found my way into it behind the scenes. I don't know, being 27 and finding your passion late in life, I feel like people at this age feel like they have to have their shit together. Or, you know, all my friends already went to college and have their careers. And then there was me who was still very confused about everything and I'm a mom so like it's like I'm not allowed to be confused I have to have my shit together but I don't know I feel like I represent somebody who has faced many defeats in life but still never give up and I bring that up because I know there are a lot of people out there even artists who have given up on their craft because they think they're older and time is ticking and you have to have a career or a job already set by this age, you know, closer to your 30s. But yeah, I just feel like we shouldn't be discouraged if we see somebody younger doing this. You know, there's a lot of fresh new faces in the music industry, in any industry, and you feel like they have an advantage over us who are older. But you know, don't, don't give up. It takes years to build your craft. Whether I started at 20 years old or now, I, I would still need that, those years of experience. You know, if you stick with it and you keep going, you know, miracles happen, like good things happen. Well, somebody told me about Cole Bennett. I had no idea who he was up until like, you know, like a few months ago, honestly. I Googled him, I YouTubed him, and I thought that he was a great filmmaker, but not only that, he was a good businessman and he had created this brand Lyrical Lemonade that you know was amazing so that inspired me to want to create something on of my own and yeah here I am I mean I like the music industry and I've always liked having a camera in hand so it just kind of randomly happened but I mean that's how I got into it because before that I wasn't really like I didn't care too much for music videos I didn't you know I didn't think I didn't care too much of like the process but now I don't know seeing him do it and then me trying it out i fell in love with it and i haven't stopped ever since i actually when i met nikki films all his friends were from la and i got to have a few conversations 
with some of them and a lot of them were actually from Chicago like Nikki himself is they told me that the video industry is more lucrative out in LA so that would definitely be an option and a possibility even New York I don't know wherever this journey takes me you know so far for me finding filming jobs has been easy because I have a sales background so I own my own business aside from doing videos. Doing videos is new. So I know how to market my services well. So I haven't had any trouble with that yet. So that kind of benefits me. But I mean, I do have trouble on other things like I obviously am still a beginner in filming. I get my own jobs. You know, people have asked me to be part of their team and they've, I've gotten like great opportunities, but I've declined because I want to build my own empire i want to like i'm here to say like <laughs> i want to build something big i don't know exactly what that is but i'm just testing the waters right now and i'm gonna eventually find it So a typical day for me, if I have a shoot, I usually shoot outside. So my shoots usually are around sunset time, you know, 3 to 4 p.m. But I am a mom, so my day begins with, you know, taking care of my kids, making sure all my equipment is charged. I, you know, I go over my shot list. I go over any details. I usually watch a YouTube video or two on, like, tips, you know, because I'm still new to this. And... I listen to the song that, you know, that I'm going to shoot over and over just so I can have it memorized. And yeah, that's basically it. I spend usually the whole day shooting because I, you know, I'm not, I'm kind of new. I'm still learning. The artists that I choose to work with are also in the beginning stages. So, you know, we're all learning. They're learning to be in front of the camera. I'm learning new techniques along the way. So yeah, I just make sure everything's charged. I have everything before I go. I make sure I have a babysitter. <laughs> the most challenging thing for me is learning effects on, you know, on the software that I'm editing on, which is Final Cut. Filming is pretty easy. You know, you can learn that off YouTube, how to, you know, your shots and um, everything else. But editing is something that is a little gets a little more trickier. So I don't really add too many effects to my videos, and I don't think I would, because I mean, I have I have a pretty creative mind when I'm on set. I know what I want, I know what I envision. I don't really envision edit, like too many crazy edits in my videos. I'm more on like color grading, that's important to me, you know, making the image look pretty. I'm a girl, so you know, I'm very, very aesthetic and like minimalist, so as long as like my shots look clear and everybody looks good and there's energy or, you know. The first girl that I saw on Instagram that edits is Alexia G. And she was really good. I'm like, I didn't know that women filmed and edited and did all that. I just kind of like picked it up on my own. I didn't care who was in the industry. I'm very like, I'm a risk taker and I'm very fearless. So like if I do something and I fail at it, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go do it. So like I didn't think about the whole like gender ratio when it comes to you know filming, but I don't know any other females that film. And I wish I did. Because you know, I would most conversations that I have or most friends in the filming industry are males. And they do things their own way. You know, I learn from everybody, but I don't know if it would change my style. I think it would just be fun to know somebody else who's in the industry and also lives this life. Cause I don't do anything anymore besides be with my kids, run my business and then filming is like 100 percent of my free time so it's funny because i'm actually shooting a documentary for a high school right now and there's a few girls that are you know they have their cameras they're taking photography and i told them just like go out and do it just like if you want to film videos like find somebody who makes music film your you know first few videos for free because you know nobody's gonna pay for like zero experience and just hit record even if you don't know what you're doing. I just hit record and I was just following people dancing and rapping like and then I learned through the editing process. Once you see project on the screen then you see your mistakes because you don't really know what you're doing or what you're not once you're filming. So just do it and then learn as you go. Ask questions. I'm a big believer in like asking questions. Like, I don't waste time. I'm not gonna waste time stressing not knowing something. I don't copy other creatives on 
work you know you can get inspired to create your own and it's not always going to look the same even if you try to copy somebody's work you're going to end up creating your own project i'm not going to lie I, I have a lot of fun i meet a lot of people i'm a people person um i'm very outgoing i like i need people in my life to be good so just you know meeting a bunch of genuine people that have the same spirit and vibe as me is very important the very first time I decided to go film, I actually found um, this event. I showed up by myself with a camera. All these people were gonna perform. And I didn't think too much of it. I was just, you know, I just wanted to record an artist. You know, I met Marcus Nogard there. I met Lil Wu there. A bunch of artists that I'm still in contact with and I've shot videos for. Yeah, I mean, I thought that was pretty neat because listening specifically to like Marcus's music, or Lil Wu, I actually like, really liked it so i was like wow like i'm really here at the beginning of their career and they're really here at the beginning of mine and that's what people don't see they see doja cat they see you know um i don't know travis scott right at their like peak of their career and they think they're new artists but they're really not they have worked their way up there for years you know that was really cool to just find someone that you believe in that's really big for me too like i don't work with an artist that I wouldn't believe in, no offense. Because you know, it's your brand, it's your name, and you don't wanna partner with somebody who's on the same wave. I feel like I had to overcome a lot of self-doubt to be where I am. I wasn't brought up to you know, fought, pers pursue my dreams. I was brought up to just you know, graduate and find a job, and that's it. And you know, being a first-generation American, coming from immigrant parents, you're just taught to, you know, work, find a job, but somebody puts you in a box, like, that's a mental box. It's not a real barrier. Like, you can overcome, overstep anything, become who you want, do what you want. And if you really believe in your craft, in your plan, you know, just work for it. Find people, find resources, ask questions. If you don't know how, find somebody, you know, who's doing it, figure out how they did it, and then pave your own path that way, you know? Us people, we make things happen. Like, it's not impossible. Like, people always ask me, like, how do you, how did you meet this artist? How did you have a conversation with that artist? And it's like, it's not hard. You just, again, like I said, you we make this happen. Like, we're, we're only human. Like, you're not talking to a robot when you meet a celebrity, or people who give you opportunities are, you know, people like yourselves, like me.